welcome back to another video. Today we're back with another match preview. This time it's Bristol City versus Swansea City in the Sky Bit Championship this Sunday, um, half 12 kickoff, I believe it is, or 12 o'clock. Um, so, yeah, uh, obviously we are off the back of a one or draw at Watford away, um, which, you know, is quite a good result, in fairness. Um, I know we're unbeaten in three now, um, you know, going into this game. This one's going to be a tough one. Um, you know, we've got two derbies in a row now. This is probably. You know the more the more or less serious matter of the two, but it's still a you know an important game in a lot of Swans fans' eyes. Um, so hopefully we can you know get three points in this one, but you know it won't be a pushover. Um, but yeah, let's hopefully we can you know carry the momentum from Wednesday night into this. But um, yeah, what would you say going into this game? Um, <coughs> yeah, it should, should be a decent game. You know, as you said, three games will be on. Um, or upset to attend the um what for game. And yeah, that point is good there, but it was frustrating. Obviously, being one up in that game in the first half, played really, really well in that first half as well. Made some good blocks, good tackles. But in the second half, just lost our way a bit, just lost focus, and obviously Watford got back into the game. So fair play to them. But yeah, going on to Bristol, it's, I think it's two teams that are fairly similar. If I'm being totally honest, I don't think there's much to split the two teams. Um, and I, th I, th I think this will be a good game. Obviously, there's a little bit, of a, a little bit of a rivalry between us and Bristol as well. So you know, it should be a decent atmosphere there. I'm sure our Swans fans will take a lot to their ground as well. And uh, yeah, it should be a good game and a good day out. Yeah, and then um, as for the injury news, then so for Bristol, they got five out. First one is Matty James with a knock. Secondly, Scott Twine with a muscle injury. You then got Sam Bell with a leg injury. Rob Atkinson with an ACL injury and Ayman Benarus with an ACL injury as well. And then Luke will give you the uh, Swans injury news then. Uh, yeah, for the Swans, we've just got three players who are injured. So uh, it's Harrison Ashby, uh, Liam Walsh and Josh Ginelli. Yeah, and then as for the key players then, so for Bristol, these are the ones I've gone with. So first I'm going to go with Naki Wells. Uh, we were linked to him you know, numerous times. Obviously it never happened, but you know he's a good player. Secondly, Jason Knight. Um, you know, a good youngster can create things and, you know, make things happen. And thirdly, I'm going to go with Taylor Gardner-Hickman, um, who I believe is on loan from West Brom, and maybe is permanent, I'm not too sure, but nonetheless a very great player. But would you add anybody else? Oh, yeah, I'll add two players, you know, I'll add two attacking players to that list. Uh, first, we'll go for Tommy Conway. Um, I think he's a very good forward. I think the link-up play between him and Sam Bell when they play, I think, is really good. Um, and, you know, he's still quite young as well, so... You know, I think they got a good player uh, there in, in um, Tommy Conway. Uh, and then the other one I'll go for is Harry Cornick. Pretty sure Swans have been linked to them as well um, in the past. And obviously he chose to go to Bristol, so, if, you know, fair enough to him. But, um, yeah, I'll go, to, I'll, go, I'll go for those two players. Yeah, and then as for the Swans then, so if there's any Bristol fans watching this, I think these are the players you need to look out for. Number one, I'm going to go with Shemi Slav Plaquetta. Um, I know he's not got a goal or an assist, but you know he's added that pace that we really needed, and he's created things. And he could have got a goal on um, you know Wednesday with a bit more confidence. I think they'll come. Secondly, I'm going to go with Matt Grimes. You know the orchestra of midfield, really. And thirdly, I'm going to go with Ronald as well. Uh, tricky winger, just like Plaquetta. But would you add anybody else? Um, I think I will add um, Jamie Patterson in there. Obviously, we're still fans. We know we'll know all about him. Um, and you know he's still a good player for his age. You know he's still you know still doing really well for us. Definitely been one of our better players um, so far this season. You know, I didn't, I didn't think he was going to play against Watford um, uh, on Wednesday, um, but you know he didn't fair us, um, so that was good. And um, yeah, I think he's one of our better players, like I said. So yeah, I'll add him to that list. Yeah, and then the team lineup are going to go then. So in goals, I'm going to go with Carl Rushworth. Right back, I'm going to go with Kyle Norton. I'm not too sure why he was dropped, to be honest. Maybe just, you know, he's getting on a bit now, so it wasn't fit enough. Um, left back, Josh Tymon. Two centre backs, Ben Cabango and Nathan Woods. Three in midfield, Matt Grimes, Joe Allen, and Charlie Patino. Um, and then out wide, I'm going to go with Shemi Slav Paqueta, Ronald. And then up front, I'm going to go with Mikola Kuharevich. But what about you? Yeah, the thing, yeah, the thing is, I would actually like to go for that lineup as well, but you know, I just have a feeling that he's just not going to start with Rarich, and I don't know why, because he's, you know, I think he could be one of our best attacking players in all honesty. Like he is really decent from you know bits that we've seen, but he just hasn't really been given an opportunity, which is a bit of a shame. So, you know, I'd, I'd probably go for Liam Cullen up front um, instead. Um, obviously, I'd love Rarich to play, but I just, I just don't think it's very likely. So. Um, yeah, I'll put Liam Cullen up front instead and um, yeah, I'll stick with the rest of the team. Yeah, and then lastly on to the score prediction then. So, 
yeah, it's going to be a tough game, but um, yeah, I think we can get back to winning ways after that draw and make it 4 unbeaten. So I'm going to say a 1 0 win. I'm going to say 1 0, and I'm going to say Plaquetta to get his first goal. But what about you? Um, I think, yeah, I'll go for a I'll go for a 2 1 uh, Swans. I think Bristol will probably get a goal because, well, Swans love conceding goals, so it's bound to happen. Um, so yeah, goal scorers, I'll go for Naki Wells for Bristol. And then for the Swans, I'll go for Ronald to get one. And I'll go for I'll go for Liam Cullen to get one as well. Yeah, once again, obviously a massive thanks for watching this. Uh, we, will, we will be back tomorrow with a match day vlog. Um, unfortunately, I won't be attending this game as I am going to watch Wales versus France in the Six Nations. Um, but Luke will be attending this, so you know there'll be a, another match day vlog for you guys. Maybe I'll, you know, add in a few clips from the the Wales game for any of you rugby fans that are interested. But um. Yes, once again, a massive thanks for watching this and stay tuned for the vlog tomorrow. Yeah, cheers.